episode of today's Night Alpha 19. Today we return, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, with a giant smile on our face because at the end of last episode, we got our hands on none other than the fully automatic shotgun. I'm sorry, I'm so excited for a little bit of full auto a shotgun rain. We got a quest not too far away, we're gonna clear, and also we found something incredible. We just gotta get a little bit of money selling some goods Could that we loot up. Maybe, uh, louder. Hugh, yeah, you, you know, to wake the Hugh, dead? Hugh, I get it, I get it. Okay, I'm just trying to show off your shouts out to y'all in that comment section and my excitement over the fact that there was a chainsaw here, a power tool that we are in such desperate need of to help us build a, such an awesome base. Uh, on top of that, there's a 44 Magnum and a rocket launcher, both for sale as well. Was there something so, else? Hugh, I don't like your sass, brother. I'm about to hit you in the face with some automatic shotgun raid if you're gonna keep talking to me like that. But uh, speaking of which, there's also a quest literally 100 meters away that we're gonna go ahead and knock out on the Lickety Split. Then we're gonna go and we actually, Hugh sent us on another quest literally to go to our other trading outpost over here uh, to the north. We're gonna go pop on over there, finish that quest up. And uh, but there's also, a we left a little, a few loot chests up there that might have some loot that we might be able to go ahead and sell. Besides that though, there are still two other traders not too far away that also should have a fresh stock of loot and we definitely want to go ahead and pop by them i think and on top of that as well we'll also go ahead and pop by uh what you call our storage base here because of course we are building up our main base here but it's uh under construction right comrades but we do have a ton of our loot over there that we also might be able to come up and sell because uh as awesome as all of these things are the problem is they're not for free they are for sale so we got to make a little bit of money to get these things we also got to go and spread a little bit of shotgun rain up inside of this home. We just gotta start this quest actually uh, right around the back side and then we're just gonna freaking bum rush through this. I don't, like, I'm probably not gonna try, like, I, there's a lot of stuff I wanna do today, obviously, as y'all might be able uh, to tell. So, uh, what's my call? Is this a ladder? Can I climb this? No, I cannot climb this. It looks like... Oh, I can. Never mind. Secret leather. Confirmed. Hello, comrades. How are you? Or is there gonna be, like, a zombie? That looks like a sus ceiling if I've ever seen one. Ah! Okay, there you go. He is now dead. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. Uh, what you recall? Yeah, as much as I would like to, like, loot up absolutely everything, I did come here with, like, an inventory rather full. I know, I know that is not a good practice for when you're looting a place like this up, but I don't... Hello, we got a zombie up in here. Yay! Not for long! Shut the gun rain, baby. And, uh, yeah, I know that's not the best practice for when we're looting this, but I do definitely just want to at least, like, uh, watch my call. Ooh, the cigar! That gives us better bartering! Let's go! That's actually a huge pickup right there. Uh, watch my call. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing, like, a too crazy looting of this location. Primarily just looking, uh, to watch my call. Clear out the area, you know, get the points for... Okay, I gotta go and, uh, chop this thing down with my steel axe! There you go. Love to see that. That's not gonna even be in use for much longer, though, with the chainsaw being not too far away. Yay! Let's go. We dropped something, too. Star, this is overkill. Why are you using a shotgun? Let's sit here, bub. We got a full auto shotgun at the end of last episode. I'm going to be using this thing to the absolute maximum capacity imaginable because it's awesome. Also, if you come across any of these blue boxes, that actually is... Uh, ooh, and we got a cardboard box here. Probably nothing too crazy. No, 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 no. But these blue boxes are actually a prime opportunity to get our hands on uh, some various resources and these little cement bags here. Uh, various resources that... Hey, buddy, how you doing? Shotgun brain! Some state drive, the zombies filled up and shotgun rain. Uh, cardboard box, anything good inside of you? Nice, we got some more ammo to fuel our adventure today, baby. It's gonna be a big shotgun theme going on if y'all can't go ahead and tell. But with the acquisition of that chainsaw, should everything go according uh, to plan? Hello, someone's getting feisty up in here. Uh, that's pretty much two out of the three power tools we are in most desperate need of. Hey, buddy, why are you so hangry in the kitchen? Do you need like a Snickers or whatever? Is that, what, is that what it is? Hello. We got some more ammunition. I'll go ahead and take that. We got some what appears to be zombies in the basement from what the compass at the top is uh, telling us. Uh, hello, hello. We got this destroyed workbench up in here. We can go ahead and destroy this a little bit more via the power of this wrench and actually get some awesome various parts over there in that bottom right-hand corner, which all of which should help us uh, build up some additional base defenses. But again, circling back to the chainsaw, it's going to be huge because that's going to give let us so much more quickly and efficiently gather a lot of the, uh, whatchamacallit, a lot of the resources we're ultimately going to need to build up our base so i am big big excited about that and dude what is this like what is this chamber down here this is mad sus where does this go to oh my god were they like digging to china or something digging under the great wall what's going on brother all right well it sounds like there's like a few more zombies up in here so hell oh and we got the giant stash of loot oh we got runners die die faster why are you not dying there you go at least these guys got the memo shotgun raid baby some state drive the zombies feel the paint shotgun rain. I do still hear a little bit of feistiness up ahead. 
But we did finish up that quest, so woohoo! I'll go ahead and take that. I'll also go ahead and loot up a few of these little blue boxes up in here, which again do get us some of those resources that we need. Love the one power tool we have in our possession so far, the auger. It's so beautiful for all sorts of digging and mining, including existing boxes like this. We'll go ahead and loot up all those boxes as well. There's, I mean, I'm, I, I do. There's probably gonna be some really good stuff in there. I'm gonna be pretty bummed out to go and leave that behind. There you go. Uh, we got that. And all right, let's go and see what is inside of these mystical, magical chests. Hopefully, we got some good stuff. What is within the reinforced chest? Let's go. Those. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to pick up what we can. We'll probably have to circle back. That will sell for like, yeah, 400 bucks. We'll be able to make a few bucks off of that. What's inside of the weapons bag? We got, oh, baby, a few decent things. Uh, we will go ahead and come back for that here in a second. Just trying to really quickly grab what we can, what we want. I'm going to leave the grain alcohol behind. Not too really keen on that. I don't know why I have my red shot. I want to go ahead and get this out. And hope everyone out there is having an absolutely fan freaking tastic day of the most amazing Friday. That does only keep on getting better uh, from here on up. Whether that be from the video, bring you a smile, bring you a giggle, anything or everything like that. Does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers and indeed do. That's exactly what the joy do do because nothing else brings a smile to my face like knowing that hopefully I might be able to bring one to yours in some way, shape, or form or fashion. And if I'm not capable of doing that, I'm crossing my fingers that you got some fan freaking and it's coming your way in some other way, shape, or form, or fashion, my friends. But okie dokie, here is where we are. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually leave behind a few things that I really probably am not too keen on. That wrench is like, I'll just go ahead and scrap this thing. It's not really the best quality wrench or anything like that. I'll go ahead and drink the one golden rod tea that we got. Kind of just try to start uh, uh, consolidating uh, some of our inventory room here. Like the single leather, I really don't need that. I'm definitely gonna grab these things though. These are uh, military armor parts, sell for a pretty penny. Do still hear a zombie trying to very desperately so get to us. Uh, also really quickly here, just for the sake of things, I'll go ahead and modify this, uh, toss that on there just for the sake of, you know, just uh, saving on a little bit of inventory room here. I'll go ahead and modify the spear, toss the blade on there. That's not the final places I want the modifications. I do love the fact that we're getting machetes. I think these things, not only do they do 400% sneak damage, they're also pretty darn too and good, I think, at uh, skinning our enemies. Uh, particularly like the wild animals and stuff for their raw resources. I will take that. I will take the rocket launcher parts and uh, I'll get rid of the old bones, man. Or I, I don't know if they're old bones or new bones or whatever it is, but I'll go ahead and get rid of those. And without further ado, I think that does it for me, folks. There might be a few other things here and there throughout this location, but uh, you know what? I just want to wrap up that quest real quick, lack, like, and then I want to go and get out of here real quick, lack, like, as well. Okay, hopefully without, like, getting stuck. Is there going to be, like, a zombie about to just, like, hit me from the top rope or something? Because I, I I hear him scheming, man. I hear something scheming up ahead. Come on, dude. I'm being stubborn. I just want, like, parkour out of here. Yeah? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. Whoop. Hello? Okay, no, he might actually be on the outside, so we should be able to go and get out of here uh, rather easily. Go and chop down uh, these two. Hop on the motorcycle and skiddy boop pop that lot out our way out of here. Uh, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beautiful, beautiful. Speaking of which, I actually am very excited. Also, where is it? Oh, we gotta go straight to the north. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna go to that northern trader first. Ow, of course I hit that. We're gonna go to that northern... Oh my god, that, I, I'm surprised we didn't get stuck there. We're gonna go to that... To that to, oh, English is hard. We are going to go to that northern trader first, just to go and turn this quest in, probably get another one, ideally somewhere uh, to the west, just because having quests to do, it's a great way of getting experience uh, to unlock better perks. It's a great way of getting more money great way of getting uh what you call some loot that we can also sell for more money and i also do have some drop chests up there that uh i might be able to i mean i have a lot of stuff in my inventory right now and i kind of do potentially want to leave some more of it in the drop chest i'm probably going to want to bring some of it uh, back to our actual base as well but uh, we just got to get a little bit creative with this inventory i wish we had like a better vehicle no another thing that we are constantly working towards through these adventures quests and whatnot Whee! That we are uh, doing and all this looting as well would be a better vehicle, man. I mean, the, really, the next step up is going to be that 4x4 Jeep. Significantly bigger inventory room in the back, and I am excited for that. I'm also hungry. I'm excited for some food, yeah. apparently. We'll go ahead and get that popping as well. So, yeah, folks, I mean, overall, things are looking good. We're doing pretty great on time until the next big hurdle we got to get over, of course, that being day 28 at the nighttime of which there's going to be a massive zombie horde coming knocking at our doorway. We, I think we still got to make some base repairs and hopefully expand the electrical trap system we have protecting our base as well. So we're going to get to work on that, of course, doing these quests, unlocking this stuff and unlocking better guns is definitely going to be big. And of course, in terms of building up our base, another reason that chainsaw is going to be so awesome. And also the third power tool that hopefully we can get our hands on. You're open, right? Okay. The third power tool that hopefully we can get our hands on of course being the nail gun which will allow us to upgrade our base significantly faster in the most efficient 
fashion as well. Okay, yeah, hold up. I'll talk to you in a second. Thank you, right? Survivor. Yeah, because, uh, whatchamacallit? Be I'll, I'll turn that in in a second. I just gotta sell some stuff and make a little bit of inventory room. I don't really care about the steel sledgehammer parts. Uh, go ahead, chief. That's all you, bucko. I'll go to the empty water jar. Yeah, I'll leave that for you, buddy. That is your present from me. And I'll just go ahead and sell some of these Lucy parts that we have. Uh, you know, get a little, little Lucy goosey. Oh no! I should have wore the cigar first! That's an L right there, folks. If we're going on, that thing gives us 10% better prices you, literally just My for wearing it. I definitely should have had that, but I'll go and take that. Oh, boom shakalaka. Head to the trader. 500 experience for that uh, trader connection route. Or, uh, yeah, the root quest that that other guy gave to us. Okay, any jobs? Let's go, baby. We're moving on. We're moving up to the world. May I welcome you to the world of tier three quests. The loot and the rewards continue really to get better. Friend. I'll take one one mile to the west. Thank That's you. the direction that we're going to be going to. Anyway, it's actually right by the traders, so that is awesome. But let's go, baby. Things are looking up. Uh, yeah, I already checked out this guy's inventory, though. Nothing that I believe we really want to get from him or anything like that. I'll go ahead and actually sell some of these extra books and whatnot. Some of these uh, pump shotguns and stuff that we have had. Just a few. Again, Lucy Goosey's free up a little bit of inventory room just from things that I don't really need to desperately. And already up to 4k tokens, dude. We should be able to cash in on some of those weapons. And I, of course, number one priority, that chainsaw. Pretty freaking darn tooting easily. But uh, for now, he doesn't really have anything that uh, interests me uh, too much. Oh, baby, never mind. I take that back. Oh, it's because we leveled up our bartering, so he has better loot inside of the vault. And he has a level three full auto shotgun, dude. And a 44 desert vulture. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm in heaven. I did. Oh my. Mm. All right, y'all. Thanks for shopping here. We got, we got to make a lot of money. There's so much good stuff for sale right now, dude. Honestly, I might just kind of go on a quick little sound spree here or something. Let's uh, first things first, move everything to the loot container that can be moved to the loot container. We're actually up to 10 grand right inside of there already. Uh, let's see if anything, uh, what should I call you? Anything that stacks, just put away a few more things that are pretty easily stackable. And uh, wow says, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, dude. I We're just going on a freaking mass parts selling spree. Oh my goodness ladies and gentlemen there are so many good things right within our grasp why do i want that tier three full auto shotgun so much more that's gonna allow us to put two modifications on our shotgun instead of just the one that we are limited to so my kind sir mind fine gentlemen please take some more of these parts that i have to offer please please take them all and like i said man i got some more back at our real home we're definitely gonna want to go ahead and uh a sell or do something of that sort but for now man uh selling spree selling spree even the steel tool dude i don't care about the steel tool parts i'll just i'll cr and the motor tool parts i'll craft i'll just buy them man i'll buy them i got some money money on my side 15 grand yeah man you know what we're just gonna do it right here all right i should maybe save up i don't know man ah uh, let's not get too ahead of ourselves thanks for there might be here. even better Come things again. at the two other stores that we gotta go to we still got like another day until actually no because he here oh no yeah this Oh, this is actually looking really potentially... Because day 25, he restocks. He's going to have new stuff super soon. Oh, no, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually looking a little bit concerning. We got to buy this stuff on the ASAP. Because, uh... It's been a really yeah. Pleasure. Oh, no. And we got to freaking run over to the other traders really quickly as well. And, uh, okay, that means we got to make some money really freaking quickly in uh, any way, shape, form, or fashion. I, even though... Uh, yeah, you know what? It's just going to be time. Time to go on a little bit of a selling spree. All right, we're going to clear out this inventory. Anything that I don't plan on immediately using is going to go. Double barrel shotgun, you're being replaced. I got a significantly better shotgun in my world now. What is on this uh, AK mod? Is this a burst group mod? Yeah, I don't really need that. I hear a zombie. Hello. Shut up. Goodbye to your face. All right, we got a few more things over here we want to sell. And do hoo 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 Yes, yes, yes. The reason I'm doing this is because we got to run back to get that chainsaw, dude. Uh, I didn't even like kind of realize the clock was ticking like that. But the clock is most definitely ticking. Oh, we mama. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know we could probably get some more money, should we? I don't know, man. Actually, uh, if I have some repair kits and a few things to toss on these, I don't know if I want to sell any, like, level tier 6 stuff. Because that stuff we can sell for a really nice premium uh, under the right circumstances. If you toss mods on them, dude, they sell for a pretty penny. But all this other stuff, man, like, uh, tier 3 and 4 stuff, I'm just gonna, yeah. Just gonna go on a mass selling spree. I think that's the move. I think that's the move. I think that's a great move. I think it is the best move possible uh, for us at this uh, juncture. There you go. Okay, maybe not the claw hammers. Those do come in handy on like some crafting recipes and stuff. I will go ahead and leave those behind. Anything in the back of the motorcycle that we like definitely 1000% want to get rid of. I mean, I could sell some bullets too. That's not like the biggest deal. I do like this pistol. Uh, 
Yeah, you know what we're gonna do here, actually? I'm gonna go and, uh, no, not that. Okay, I equipped the pistol, cool. Also, oh no, do I not have any repair kits with us, like, immediately? Okay, now I got a few, so I can repair a few things. Again, repaired things sell for a significant premium over their unrepaired counterparts. Uh, the robotic sledge is staying, actually. That thing's kind of... Actually, I have a higher level robotic sledge, so never mind. I don't really need to do that as much. Let's go and repair that iron sledgehammer. Uh, let's repair that thing. Again, just repairing... I, oh, yeah, the level 5. I'm going to keep the level 5, I think. No, I, I don't remember if I have a level 6 or not. Uh, regardless, iron knuckles. Yeah, I'll go and repair you really quickly. I wonder if I can toss any uh, like of these melee weapon modifications that I have on some of our melee weapon mods here and uh, actually create like some super brass knuckles. Yeah, baby, that's what we're doing today. We're going to get like two grand for them brass knuckles. Let's go. Love, love, love to see that. Hello, welcome to the, this is Pawn Stars, Star Snipe Edition. All righty, all righty, all right, all right, all right. Let's get to selling. I'm not selling that Desert Vulture. No freaking way, dude. That is, that looks like such a fun gun to use. Uh, double barrel shotgun. See you later. Iron Axe, see you later. See you later. Ala, freaking Gators. Uh, Steel Axe stays. I was using that a little bit. Do not want to get rid of that. AK Kalashnikov, goodbye to you. Goodbye to Steel Gloves. Two grand coming our way with that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, robotic Sledge, I will keep you for now. You're a cool cat. Uh, it's also a few of them other things here and there. Again, we're just trying to make that money, baby. We're trying to make that money. Iron Shovel. I mean, I got better than shovels now. I got power tools, you know? Sell that. Sell that. Steel Shovel. Yeah, man, what is all? I, I, listen, I'm a hoarder at heart, so it sucks for me to sell this stuff, but I know someone stranger. in the comments is probably going to be like, Star, oh my god, you should have left that. That right there is the secret to happiness. Well, guess what, man? Happiness is going to have to wait. We got priorities right now, brother. Uh... We got some more shotgun shells there. Uh, like anything like super valuable, like we don't really have much super valuable stuff we can sell here, you know? Oy vey, oy vey. The first aid kits, I mean, I, yeah, I could sell those, make a few hundred bucks off that. $700 worth of those things, sure, dude. I just want money in every way, shape, form, or fashion right now, except for raw resources. Uh, the Fort Bites, I don't know, man. I, I could keep those, I could sell those. The oil, that sells for a nice little premium. Ah, uh, the schematics. Yes, yes, yes. We definitely want to sell the schematics. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, okie dokie, man. I think this is, uh, as, as close, as close to good as we're going to get. Let's sell these last few things. Run our way back to that other freaking trader. We got some major stuff we got to pick up today, boys and girls. Hello, hello, hello. I could just sell the stuff at the other trader, but you know what? I just want to get rid of it immediately and just have as much money as possible to work with as soon as possible. Scrap polymers. All you, chief. All you. Bless up for the cigar. Helping us get some better. Oh, no. Did I sell my lucky goggles? Gratitude. Oh, I, I'm in my in my frenzy of selling. Oh, no, it's different. It doesn't replace the lucky goggles. Let's go. It's a double whammy. Uh, cooking pot. All right, whatever. That's good enough. That's good enough. That's good enough. Uh, yeah, really quickly. I don't know. We could like, uh, are we going to have time? We're not going to have time to make our way back to base, unfortunately. All right. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, no, dude. This is playing. This is playing a game that I don't want to be playing right now. Oh, no. Okay. We're going back down there. We're going back down there ASAP. We're getting that chainsaw. The 44 Magnum and rocket launcher, man, just because of the circumstances, we might miss out on them. But all these traders are about to have a fresh restock following today that we're going to get to cash in on after that. So that's at least on the good side of things. But, uh, did yeah, that's, uh, that's a bummer. Hello. <sighs> Goodbye. Oh, dude, that's stressful. For some reason, in my mind, I guess, like, Originally, when I saw that it restocks at day 25, I thought, okay, so we still have today and tomorrow. We have day 24 and day 25. That's not the case. As soon as day 25 gets hit, that restock happens. So, as soon as, like, I don't know, man. Uh, oh, oh my god, almost like tipped over over there. Uh, yeah, so we just kind of gotta, we just gotta go. We gotta go. But then that does mean that there's gonna be some new stuff for us to peruse. That is a bummer that we potentially missed out on the new stock of stuff over at the other traders. Actually, maybe no, maybe we didn't miss out on them, but maybe they they are about to have a fresh restock though. Regardless, we also, uh, the, the, the biggest thing too, right? Is just the fact that we have that perk now, or we leveled up the perk where we get better stuff from the trader, including in the secret vault. That's why like all of this stuff randomly popped up. Because again, some of these like cool weapons we just got were not available at that other trader when we were there like a little bit ago but we moving up in this world baby okie dokie this guy's a douche canoe too so that's that's cool man super cool super cool why you gotta be so rude? no loitering okay i won't loiter dude no worries no worries but uh i'd like to buy some stuff this chainsaw man i need it immediately and then we got five grand to work with the 44 magnum i mean do we even want it if we have the 44 vulture over here 
that there looks like a beastlier version of it or do you just want to go straight to the rocket launcher i mean a rocket launcher seems potentially more useful you know go boom boom and stuff like that uh, i got plenty of pipe bombs at home i could sell those i could sell some of our extra ammo here make a few bucks off of the ammo selling business why not why not let's try and get the 44 magnum too it's not that expensive i think we can we can put together a few buckaroos here and there to uh make some magic happen you know the bandana that's all yours my friend i, I have no need for such a, a ancient thing anymore no we are like uh we are still like a few Thank like God a thousand browsing next time i'll charge be quiet, Hugh. Uh, we're just like a thousand bucks short or whatever, man. So a bit of a bummer there, but you know what? We might be able to, I don't know, is there anything else here? Like, I don't want to sell the shotgun choke mod. That's going to be awesome. Uh, I, could, I could maybe sell the better pistol if I toss some mods on it, but I kind of didn't really bring any mods with us. So I don't know. Do we? Let's just go on a quick looting spree then. You know, we're going to continue looting around here a little bit. Uh, I, I know this is not the good shotgun. That's okay, man. Just loot things and just see if we can find something valuable like really quickly that we can sell for like a quick thousand. Nothing. Yeah, just find a quick thousand bucks to profit off of, you know? That'd be awesome. I mean, hey, you know, we could go ahead and scrap up this car. This might net us some good stuff over there. But uh, yeah, so as soon as the, whatchamacallit, as soon as nighttime hits, I think we just kind of like book it straight to home so we can just kind of you know, really take inventory, try to grab it. Oh, let's go. We got a battery, dude. Level five. I don't know if I'd want to sell it. That's worth a lot of money. I don't know if I want to sell it, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this? How do I parkour up there? There might be something good. There might be something good inside of this point of interest. I already hear zombies. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, baby. How you doing today? Yay! Oh, not very good by the looks of it. I know that I'm still using the old shotgun. I'm very aware of that. But you know what? It'll have to do for now. I don't want to equip the new shotgun with stuff yet. We are in a rush, baby. We have got to go uh, to the max, dude. Come on, brother. Now is not the time to disturb me. This looks like there's something secret hidden up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe secret stuff, secret stuff. No, not really. There's a little wee little place we could dive into. Oh, books. Books are valuable. Give me books. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Those are some books. A few of which though we have not learned. I should we? I, I don't know, man. Oh no. Do we learn them? Do we gain knowledge or do we gain money? Oh, this is a hard decision. I was not prepared to make it. Uh, hello, buddy. How you doing, big boy? Oh, you're still alive? Oh, no. Gotta reload. Gotta reload. Gotta reload. There you go. He is definitely not alive after that one. You know, the first one was, oh, maybe he's dead. Second one, he is most definitely dead. Uh, we got the kitchen over here. The kitchen should have some stuff. A little bit of food. A little dead zombie. A very dead zombie. Uh, oh, something secret in there. That looks like an ammo pile that might have. Come on, man. I had it, like, right there. I oh, come on, dude. Come on. Okay, you know what? I have an idea. There you go. The shotgun solves all problems. Nice. We got a melee weapon mod. We might be able to toss out a melee weapon if we want to sell it or just kind of keep it around. Ammo pile here. Some more bolts. We can probably sell those. I could probably sell some more bolts too. I don't think that'd be the biggest issue. I love this thing. Oh my God. You you good, girl? Why are you coming in teeter-tottering like that, huh? Don't run. You're making me sound like a lifeguard here. Let's go. And here we got the reinforced chest and a weapon bag there in the back we'll grab oh baby yeah there's some valuable stuff here definitely some valuable stuff we can install that into some clubs okay metal spikes that actually looks like a very fun modification um um um, um can i modify this uh okay here's what i'm gonna do here really quickly uh just for inventory room's sake i'm going to wait i can't put that in the wooden club oh i can only put it in the metal club okay whatever um I'm gonna grab a few things. What's in the weapons bag back there? Any good weapons we can sell? Oh, a few weapon parts and stuff. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna leave a few not so valuable things behind, including you college jacket. I'm sorry. Oh, that thing's worth like 91 bucks. I don't know. Maybe I grab it for now. Uh, oh, the bunker buster mod. I'll grab that really quickly and just kind of toss that uh, on the lickety split. Just toss it on a melee weapon of some sort. Just free up some inventory room. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, this thing can also, uh, we can toss that melee weapon on there. Blah, 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 blah. Love to see that. We will grab a few of these things. Oh, that I could toss on some clothing of some sort. Uh, uh, not that, unfortunately. Oh, wait. No, I can't. Ah! No, 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 no. I hate this, man. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate being under the stress of time. Time's too stressful. Ah! All right, medical supplies. Anything good here? Okay, a single bandage. That's not going to be helping us in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I mean, this gun we can definitely sell. Uh, all right, here's, oh, I can just hear the empty water jaws. Let's, uh, no, no, English is hard, man. I'm not making any sense today. I'm in just such a such a frenzied, frenzied mode here. There you go. That's a bunch of stuff. That should be enough to help us get the last of the weapons. We should be good after quite a stressful time. Oh, that's a cool shirt. That's a cool shirt, but guess what? <laughs> oh, let's go! That ammo! No way, I just wanted to I just wanted to shoot him in the face. Um 
Uh, what do we get rid of? Yeah, let's get rid of the sewn kit. Uh, let's pick up that structural brace mod. Why don't we go and actually learn that thing? We'll pick that up, and all right. We gotta go. We gotta make some money, baby. Woo! 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 I'm back, baby! Let's make some money. Trader, don't you dare kick me out. I mean, honestly, we still had a little bit of time to spare. We kicked that thing into overdrive, so we are looking to be in decent shape here, folks. Are you gonna purchase yes, something? Yes, I am! I am! I'm gonna sell you stuff, too. Calm down, chief. Calm down, bucko. Oop, there you go, like $400 of bicycle books. Uh, what is it? What is it? This bear, yeah, shotgun man, have it. Have it. This metal spikes mod is actually gonna be pretty cool. You can install that in clubs, which I don't get why it couldn't go in the wooden club. Did I do something wrong? Maybe, probably, who knows? Uh, some more handgun parts here. Let's sell those. The I'm gonna keep that. We'll toss that on something and sell it for a pretty penny. Just sell a few of these things. I know selling the oil, man. Oil's nice and definitely not something I should be selling, but you know what? When you want money, you do what you gotta do. Oh, I may have sold a bit more than I had to, but, but let's go. We got what we came here for, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Thank God you're done browsing. Yep. Next time I'll I can't wait to leave. You are an annoying person, my friend, but let's go. Okay, and now that we can actually take a breath, let's take a breath and modify our shotgun. Our dream shot. I'm having a heat stroke. Not cool. Let's modify our dream shotgun, though, the way we want it. So this full auto mod, that helps us shoot faster. I definitely want that. Boop. Let's go and toss that down. This a shotgun duckabill mod changes the way our bullets shoot but also every mod that we toss on a gun increases it we're now doing 15 damage per pellet 10 pellets per shot that's potentially 150 damage if everything hits that's awesome now we could also if we wanted to instead which actually I, I, i'm kind of leaning towards we could actually just toss the shotgun choke mod on instead uh this thing just kind of tightens the spread right instead of like making it super wide yeah I'm gonna go with that. I, I kind of like that a little bit more. And look at that super tiny spread. We don't have to aim down the sights. Oh, dude, we. I wonder. Can, oh, we'll be able to toss another sight on this, too. But we need a higher quality full auto shotgun for that to happen. But, Chowkey Chowkey, with our set, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not doing that tier two fetch quest, man. We are gonna go pop our way over. There, we're gonna see if maybe we can make it to this trader before nighttime. It's like there's actually a chance we can, which would be very, very cool. I'm going to the southwest. I'm going like the complete opposite direction. I want to be going northwest, northwest, yeah. Oh, mama, though. I mean, that was crazy, man. Definitely had me in a frenzy, but I think we are doing pretty good, all things considered. There is also, which, whatchamacallit, I, I almost forgot to mention, there's still that gun range location I definitely want to hit up. There's like a few stores in that like northeast town that I definitely think could be worth our while and uh yeah man have we even leveled up do we have like extra perks or something i don't even know i've been so just focused on shotgun raining enemies and uh <laughs> just making sure that we bought everything we needed to buy but that is so huge we had two out of the three power tools we need i know i've been bringing that up a lot but it is just seriously so nice for maximizing ow i hit an iron brick dude more of a rock than a brick but you know what i mean just for maximizing our efficiency and that means we're gonna be able to do big things by the time that the day 28 Decides it to arrive. Whew. Yeah. Crazy times, man. Crazy times, but there are big things on the horizon. I'm just super excited, man. The chainsaw is going to make it so much less annoying and just so much quicker to get all the wood we need for proper upgrades. We've had the auger for a while, but we just got to get that fabled nail gun, dude. Knowing my luck, the nail gun's going to be at this place we're going to, and they're going to kick us out before we have a chance to sell everything that we can to get it. I mean, man, I don't know. I, I, we got to start thinking about that actually a little bit ahead of time. Like, if, if push comes to shove, what do we sell to make room for that? Like, I, I, there's not really any weapons I want to sell. Do we still have, like, in this frenzy of trying to, you know, uh, check out all this stuff before it closes? I almost completely forgot. Oh, hello, Shotgun Rain Factory. I love you so. I almost completely forgot. We picked up that 44 Magnum today, too. I think we might need to give that thing a bit of a looksy doodle as well. I don't, I, I don't know if I have ammo for it, though. We might have some ammo at home, actually. But okie dokie. Hello, it's right there. I'm back, baby. And with a much better shotgun than ever before. How you looking over here? I am so glad to see Jenny. your face. Thank you, I thank you. I get lonely sitting by myself all day. Oh, you do. No, no, not on the job, Jenny, not on the job. We got, we got things to focus about. Solar cells! Oh, ho, ho. we need those. This is the first time we've seen them out in the wild. And... I'm not gonna be able to come up with $36,000. That is so expensive. But that right there, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end game of power generation. Oh, the SMG and the impact driver. Oh, 
dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh my God. We gotta get to selling. We gotta get to selling, folks. You, you want bullets? I got bullets. Please take my bullets. Take my gas. That's not. That gas is not worth a lot. Electrical parts. Oh no. Do I just like? I could sell one of these robots. Honestly, I'll just sell those schematics. I don't really care about those schematics, dude. Impact driver. I think this is the new nail gun, right? I think so. I think so. Night Stalker, 10% more damage at night. Nah, man, I don't need that. I don't need that. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Uh, my, I, nah, I'm gonna get rid of that book too. Should I be getting rid of these books? Probably not, but guess what? We're gonna do it. We are definitely copping the Impact Driver. Oh, that thing is beautiful. I, is this what All I'm right thinking then. of? Stay safe out there. I think this is what I'm thinking of. Did they change the name? And I just kinda like forgot about it? Potentially. Will this allow us? Nope, that just completely broke that okay what does this thing not it's not working what it just breaks that is this a what, is it supposed to it's supposed to work it doesn't really appear to be working at the moment bruh i feel like this thing why do i just hit with it oh did i just get bamboozled is this not the nail gun bro i've been played jen You've played me. And you have an SMG for sale that I'm so bummed that we're not going to be able to get in time. Ugh. That is an L, dude. That would have been such a nice gun for using our... That's a major upgrade for 9mm ammo compared to the pistols that we're using now. But, yeah, I don't think I'm not going to be able to shore up 7,000. That is a lofty goal. That is a lofty goal. I mean, we'll have another opportunity. Oh, uh, are you leaving so soon? Yeah, oh, so I am. We can hang out a while. I'll be back. No worries. I'll be back. I'll be back. I caramba, folks. That hurts. That hurts quite a little bit, but such is life. Nothing more than pain spread out across a long period of time. Okay, that's kind of dark. I don't know about that, but dang. I'm convinced the impact driver does more than just being hit. Like, how am I somehow using it wrong? All right, after utilizing a quick little bit of Google Foo, I have learned that the impact driver is like a, it's, it's like a wrench. It's supposed to be used for disassembling things and getting resources out of it. So that makes sense. That makes, I mean, it's still a nice tool to have. Don't get me wrong, especially because like it, I don't, it might be better than the wrench. Like, I don't know, dude. I feel like having a, something that looks like a power tool. I'm out of gas. Okay. Good thing I didn't sell the gas though. I didn't sell the gas, right? Yeah. Let's go. We got 24%. Uh, I still want to make a quick run and see, you know, what this trader does have. But then after that, we're going to pop by home. I think just fill up our inventory with stuff that we're going to want to sell. And then, or maybe, I don't know, man. There are some quests over by us that we might want to knock out instead. And then we'll go and grab some uh, grab some stuff and just go on a bit of a selling spree as soon as the morning dawns. Or something like that. But, uh, oh, that is such a bummer. I mean, I'm, we have four traders in a very close proximity to us. Like, I'm... Honestly, I'm sure that another good opportunity for some cool guns is going to pop up. Like, I don't, I don't think that's our only shot of getting our hands on the SMG. And at least we got our hands on, like, some other pretty cool stuff. So all in all, not all is lost. But, uh, yeah, man, let's uh, just go in here just for the sake of it. Let's see what we potentially missed out on. What would have happened if in an alternate universe we bust booty and get back here to see what they have for sale? What did you have for sale, my friend? Doesn't look anything too crazy so far. The M60 machine gun. Oh my. Oh. Oh, sweet baby. Jeebus. I want that. I want that machine gun. Hold up. I might be able to get that machine gun. I am acquiring the machine gun. Let's go. It is just a level one, but YOLO, man. We're on a buying spree today. Let's go. Okay. That buffed out in a little, little bit of a way. I mean, it's it's level one, you know? It's not really the best thing in the world, but I do think that is, at the be if I'm not mistaken, that should be the best gun available to us. So definitely a cool thing to be picking up. But then uh, tomorrow, lads, we go a full restock. Great doing business with you. And uh, we're going to start the day. Oh, oh, I was about to say he's locking me in. Let me out. Let me out. It's like the opposite of that meme. Let me in. No, let me out. <laughs> well, hokey dokey, folks, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. There we have it. A stressful, but also somewhat successful run, uh, all things considered. I mean, yeah, we got most of what we wanted besides that SMG. But now we know that uh, we got to be prepared for a little bit of a selling spree. And I'm going to prepare myself to, to part. Part ways with some of these tools that I potentially 
hoard a little too much in hopes that one day I'm going to toss mods on them and get the most bang for my buck for them, dude. I think like if something's below level level five or six, I just kind of say send it. And uh, speaking of things I want to send, uh, I don't have the ammo for this right now. I got eight. Bu Actually, I got eight bullets in here. So, okay, that's kind of cool. I was going to say really quickly, I know I got the ammo that I need in one of these chests. It's been a while. There you go. Is this what I'm thinking of? Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, may I welcome you to my coat 45 and two zigzags. Baby, that's all we need. Or, uh, uh, this isn't really a Colt 45. It's a, it's a 44, but still. My point stands. I have a gun and I'm singing. I'm happy. Look at this thing. The Desert Vulture. 78 damage per bullet. 136 rounds per minute. Like, we can kind of, like... Loki spam that thing. Should I be shooting inside of my house? Probably not, but it's for science. You know, we'll let, we'll let it slide. Let it slide a little. Oh, the sawn off shotgun. I wonder, can I toss that on? Oh, we can, we can saw off? Hold on, can I do a sawn off and the shotgun choke mod? No, it's only one or the other, okay. Ah, uh, well that's, nah man, I'm gonna keep that for now. I think that is a, the better play. I like the shotgun choke versus some of these other ones that we have up in here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I could maybe, like, try to sell some ammo. We got quite a lot of that. Y'all can see here what I was talking about. You know, plenty of melee weapons. If something's, like, below level 5, I think we just kind of say screw it and sell it. I mean, some of these actually might make more sense to scrap. And, uh, yeah, okay, well, we get, like, iron out of it. I don't know. The level 1s, I think, yeah. Why don't we go and scrap these level 1s? The level 2s, I don't know. Those might be a little bit worth selling more so. But these level 1s, just a scrapping spree. Some of them should actually drop, uh parts doesn't look like they're drop all dropping parts though maybe i was mistaken i thought some of them drop parts when you scrap them is the stun baton uh yeah okay so the stun baton for example does drop parts you could probably sell some of the poopier stun batons uh for more money just from scrapping them and stuff but uh all in all man not too shabby not too shabby whatsoever here's some stuff that we definitely want to sell that i mean we got i mean i'm just doing some quick maths in my head Probably like two thousand dollar, two thousand coins worth of stuff. But we also kind of got to think about maybe ah, right, we got a lot worth of stuff in here, and we got to also maybe think about potentially just kind of like hoarding money so we could get some of those solar cells and try to set up a solar system. Well, not a solar system. I don't know if I have that power, <laughs> but you know what I mean, like a solar electrical grid uh, for our base. Here's a lot of that level six stuff that if we toss some more mods on this, should sell for a pretty penny. Uh, but some of this other stuff we should probably be able to sell. So we got a decent inventory of stuff here for sure, for sure. Uh, I'm just going to go and put stuff away. Anything that could potentially stack just to, you know, make my inventory look a little bit nicer in the in the moment. In the heat of things there. There you go. Put away a few more of those. Put away a few more of those. Eh, yeah, I'll put away a little bit. Actually, uh, I got 176 ammo. That's a scary noise. And I'll put away some more stuff there. All right, we got a decent amount of inventory room here. Oh, and the lead car battery. I kind of want to bring that back to our uh, other base. Oh, we're also getting really hungry. Let's chow down. Let's eat a little bit of the blueberry pie. Watermelon sugar pie. Blueberry, blueberry pie. I like that version better. I like that song better now. I have improved it. Star Snipe Remix coming soon. All right. Our inventory did clear out a little bit. Why don't we go? Let's scrap up a few more of those level one pistols. The level twos might be worth repairing, I think. Uh, level one stuff is kind of not really too too worth it though like this stuff too steel boots uh yeah I'll probably just scrap that we'll probably get steel for that yeah okay steel armor plates let's go that's not bad at all Boop. Boop. there you go we got some various uh whatchamacallit modifications we could actually toss for example oh actually yeah we could probably toss some more of those things onto those boots sell that for an even better penny not bad, not bad. Oh, this level four iron knuckles here. I don't know why it's in there. But talky dokie. With that said, I do want to go and have a little bit of fun with our new 44 here. So why don't we go and do that? Let's go over. We got a tier two quest literally right next door. Let's have a little bit of fun, folks. I know you're yelling at me. Star, your inventory is not entirely empty. That's all right, man. We, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll have to get it in some trouble and we'll have a rocket launcher we got to pull out. You never know. It might come in handy. Let's also make sure we add... Oh, nice. We got a skill point, too. We will save that up uh, for the time being. Where are my quests? There we go. Uh, the tier two clear. Let's uh, make that the active quest. It is literally 80 meters away. And uh, let's go and clear this place out. Push comes to shove. We will use our other new weapon. Oh, we should... Oh. 
I should toss some mods on this thing. I kind of forgot about that part. There's also the 44 Magnum, but let's be honest, folks. We're here for the 44 Desert Vulture. The freaking Deagle. Hello, zombie pals. How you doing? How you doing, friends? That seems like we want to go into there. The quest usually starts wherever you want to kind of like... Or wherever like the kind of intended beginning is, so... That would make sense. We're going to drop down into here. We don't want to drop down all the way. That seems hazardous. But I think we're going to need to drop down all the way here in just one moment. Uh, I'm going to go and get that impact driver out of the way. I will use it. I'll leave it there, actually. I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm going to put the bow away. I'm going to... I want to compare it with the wrench and see how it is, all things considered. Let's make sure to continue collecting some of this stuff. And all right, folks. I got a feeling it's going to get fuggly down here, so wish me luck. Tally ho! Ah. Suspicious. Are the walls farting, dude? I'm hearing some sussy boy noises. Hello, dog! Oh. Don't mind me. Ho -ho! I'm in love already. Oh, no! No, Jumpy! No! Oh! oh, my God, dude. Talk about some power behind this thing. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. The dog's still, like, shaking his head. He's in awe. Shock and awe, baby. Anything back here? No, I don't think so. We got some food up here. Okay, I might eat that. I might get hungry through our adventure. Dude, what is this basement we're going through? This looks like a hazardous location. Oh, no! Okay, not really like the best close quarters weapon, though. Things do get a little uh, bit tangled. You know. And I'm not exactly no tango dancer. Oh! <laughs> But man, if you got some time to line up that shot, this is nice. I do think the shotgun would be better for a situation like this, but... I'm not gonna take it out until we need to take it out, because, uh, why not? Oh yeah, why don't we go- let's whip out the chainsaw a little bit here. Use this puppy! Dude, that's gonna be so beautiful for chopping down freaking wood and stuff. Hey, a little bit of food. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very kind. Uh, oh. I'm gonna- here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of those. Have the both power tools in our inventory man things are shaping up we have like pretty much we have like built the foundation for the future metaphorically speaking with what we have access to here okay yeah let's go i'm gonna scrap this i'm not getting too much from the washing machine impact driver oh look at that baby already getting more that yeah actually dude already already look at that we get almost nothing from using the wrench for this stuff impact driver boom shakalaka look at that oh yeah dude this is going to be a nice tool to carry around with us for disassembling certain parts and uh, getting some good parts out of it. I got a feeling there's going to be zombies in here. Hello? No? Okay, just the workout room. Hey, buddy, you working out in there? Yeah, he's digging a hole or something. Holy guacamole. All right, nothing in there. Suspicious door. I think that's just kind of like the door that we saw from the beginning. Oh my god, dude, the music the music has gotten so much creepier in seven days to die lately. What? Hold up. Let's go and harvest this. Goodbye to the flashlight. I don't need no light. I'd be just fine. We still gotta clear out the area. Hello. Oh! Oh! Oh, they're trying to turn the corner with the utmost of speed. There you go. Oh! Yeah, accuracy. Not my middle name. I'm more of a spray and pray type of guy. You know? Medical supplies? I may need those with the way this is going so far. Hold up. Ah, you never know, man. They could have some stuff hidden in there. I gotta get, like, a flashlight on the actual, uh, gun, too. That might not be bad. Help us see better. I mean, okay, now there's actual, like, lighting in the house we can rely on. The basement was a bit darker. Hello. Nice little stockpile of food. I mean, the, the, the loot here is probably- Oh, let's go. It's time. Disassemble it all! Okay. Listen, if I spent, like, what, 800 bucks on this, I'm getting my money's worth, baby. I'm getting my money's worth for this stuff, you know? Uh, I don't really- Ooh, some lead. That's not bad. I don't really care too much about this kitchen, though. This isn't where we're going to be finding, like, the best loot, you know? I'll probably find some decent stuff, but I'm, I'm a sucker for the big stuff. All right. Let's whip out the, uh- Oh, I didn't bring any shotgun ammo with us. Oy vey. Never mind. I can't use the shotgun if you get in a pickle. <laughs> I was wrong. Okay, this makes this a little bit more high-stress scenario. Someone in the closet? Yeah, you are. Oh, not for long, baby. What's inside the backpack? Honey! How sweet. Nothing, man. I mean, y'all saw. We've, we've done it before. There's some stuff hidden 
behind these paintings sometimes. I'd just like to explore that fully. Anyone in here? Nope, okay. Oh! Wakey, wakey, exit pinky! What, why am I on top of the lamp? Oh my god, dude, that lamp was almost the end of me. Every time I was lining up my shot, I just elevated a level. Holy heck. What do heck? All right, let's reload that. Our maximum health is dropping a little bit more than I like. Why don't we eat up a little bit of food? That'll also restore our health a little bit. I'll take that. I think it will, right? No, 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 that's my, no, it is restoring us a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say, I didn't see it immediately restoring us and I'm like, oh no, panic. Nah, we good, fam, we good. Still doing pretty decent on inventory room. One adventure shouldn't, shouldn't uh, fill up our inventory too much there. Beautiful, beautiful. Anything inside of the tub? No, at least there's not blood and guts. I've seen that there before. It's kind of terrifying. And the upstairs. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! No, my friend. Take you out. Any friends? Oh yeah, he's got some friends. Okay, he's not the fastest fellow though, so. Oh man, he really isn't. Even I'm like overestimating his speed. How are you still alive, dude? There you go, he isn't. I do see this guy right around the corner. Boom! <laughs> not for long, baby. Uh, Fancy toilet, how fancy is the poop? Oh no, it just looks like normal poop. Not even fancy poop, how disappointing. All right though, we're already seeing y'all can see. Uh, I mean, if, th if that icon's up there, we are probably like, oh, there you go. We got one last enemy to take down and boom, shakalaka boom. Zigfest is complete. Now, 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 however, we have reached the end. Oh, dude, I, I already see what's behind this. What's behind door number one? It is just so funny to just watch, like, my person swing that at this. I don't care what I hit this with. Okay, maybe I should care. I will use the chainsaw like a civilized fella. There you go. Nice! The tool crate! What's inside of the tool crate? Big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Hey, let's go! I, was that steel I saw? Yes, sir! Love to see that very valuable resource for building up our base shenanigans. What is behind this secret? I don't know why I was using the wrong power tool. Did not mean to do that. There you go. And behind another one. What do we got? What do we got? A23 though. Oh, and we got another room over here. Love this chainsaw, man. Just makes just makes do with this stuff that we're doing right now. Just levels to it, man. There's levels to it. And we've reached the highest level, I think. I don't think there's better power tools than what we are currently rocking. Oh, my mama. We got some nice boots up in there. Uh, I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff that I really don't give two darn toots about. Not too desperate for these things. A single scrap polymer. Yeah, not too desperate for that. We'll definitely grab the ammo. Uh, the boot modifications. That's what come in handy. We can actually toss that on those like really nice boots we were trying to sell earlier. Uh, and then some of this stuff, man. I'll probably just get the scrapping. I don't, I'm probably not going to sell that individually. Scrap, 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 scrap. Ammo pile. Nice. We got a little bit of both. And by the looks of it, we finally got some shotgun ammo to play with. There we have that. Inside. Oh, hold up. We still got it. We still got to check the food. And honestly, I'll just go ahead and eat this food on the spot. The red tea. I might just, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll leave something. But I'll, I'll leave the 12 wood behind. I don't think 12 wood is. I'm not losing sleep. Oh, hold up. My inventory just gained other stuff. Uh, <laughs> rip. Uh, is there like, I don't know. I'll get rid of the nitrate powder. Oh my. Get out of here, leather. I don't need you. Eh. There you go. And we'll get the red tea. And okie dokie. Unless I am missing something uh, secretly hidden somewhere, I believe that should wrap up that quest. There is still the other tier two quest you could knock out. All right, it's over there. And we just have a little bit of nighttime to kill before the traders even open up shops. So that might actually be the perfect play and the perfect timing for us to maximize this loot run, maximize the money experience we get out of it, and then hopefully maximize, I mean, hopefully we can get our hands on the actual nail gun and a few other things like that. Also, I gotta say, I, the one thing I love about the shotgun dude is I can just make a grand entrance and a grand exit anywhere that I want. I love, I, is it overkill? Yes. It's just destroying wooden panels with this super satisfying. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. But yeah, we're going to continue working our way up the gun tree. And we haven't been, we haven't, like, we definitely got to go and do some base repairs, man. It's been a minute since you've kind of paid too much attention to that. But now that we have the chainsaw, game changer, man, game changer. So I just think we kind of, as soon as daytime hits, we kind of see what all the traders got make some uh, sell what we can make some money make some moolah and then uh, it's time for us to start preparing for that day 28 horde and then potentially hitting up some of the cooler loot spots that we have found like there's like a shooting range here a few good stores that i think will be worth hitting up maybe we can hit up the shotgun rain factory again the weapon factory it should be respawned by now so we'll have some good stuff to check out there so life is looking good folks 
And I'm excited for seven days to die uh, to continue. But with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of seven days to die. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.